Good morning, ladies. Python is a high-level, interpreter, beginner-friendly programming language that is known for its easy readability, one-of-a-kind indent-style syntax, and its huge collection of developer-made extension packages. Now that I've cited Python's Wikipedia article, let's get into what actually matters about Python. Can you build Pornhub with it? Nah, I'm kidding. Yes. No one gives a shit about the history, so I'll make this quick. Python was created in the late 80s as a successor to the ABC programming language. It was made by some Dutch fuck named Guido van Rossum. Python has survived many iterations up to Python version 3, released in 2008, which is most widely used today. Python syntax is extremely simple compared to most programming languages. When printing some to the console, instead of system.out.println from Java, you just use print. And this principle applies to almost everything. To add on to this, Python is softly typed, meaning that you do not need to include types when declaring a variable as they are determined by the compiler at runtime. Here is how you would declare a variable. Even though Python is considered a procedural programming language, that does not mean that you lack the ability to implement classes or other low-level techniques in your programs. Python is admittedly not the best language for object-oriented programming, but it can be done. Here's a simple implementation of a class. This class here represents an employee at Walmart. Fucking terrifying, I know. Uh, in Python, you can actually access the class attributes uh, globally. So you, if you look at the print line, you can just do worker.name, worker.employee ID, and worker.store ID. Um, that's the nice thing about Python is that all those attributes are public and can be accessed from anywhere. Inside of the init function, we can assign any variables passed to the newly instantiated class object to the self object. Any other computations in reference to the self object is a reference to the class itself. Over the years, Python has slowly shifted gears and found its place in the data processing and machine learning industries. You could also use it as a backend for a web service. See my video on React for a tutorial on a front end service. But I personally wouldn't because I'm not a dumbass and I think it'd be too slow for something like this. I also want to cover the huge collection of developer made Python packages that are at any developer's disposal at any time during the development cycle. All of these packages are free, and to gain access to them, all you have to use is Python's proprietary package manager called pip. Pip is a CLI, or a command line interface. In the command line, you can control pip and tell it to install or remove any packages on the pip registry. To install a package globally, you would use pip install dash m in the name of the package. Installing globally seems fine, but I choose to use Python's virtual environment package. This package creates a virtual environment inside of your working directory to keep only the dependencies for that project in that folder. Packages like NumPy for advanced math, Pandas for data manipulation, and Matplotlib for data visualization, to name a few, are all well-written, documented, and easy-to-write packages that make data manipulation and visualization very easy. Unfortunately, Python is not a perfect language. Don't get me wrong, being interpreted, simple statements, shit, it's even named after a sick ass snake. But personally, I think that when writing long and complex programs, the indent style syntax, no parentheses, etc., gets somewhat hard to read and sometimes even confusing. Granted, I learned Java as my first language, which is literally driven by rat shit boilerplate that is about as ugly as Nicki Minaj without makeup. However, it could be that I was just coded <laughs> this way. And if you had Python as a first language, you could be used to seeing complex programs with this unique syntactical styling. But yeah, that's pretty much everything surface level that I can say about Python. It's a great language to learn for people who don't even know jack shit about programming. And if you plan to have any job that includes in-depth use of computers, there's a chance you'll learn Python in your education. But finally, the most important and valuable information in this video. What do I think of it? 7 out of 10. Snakes are pretty cool.